Wondering why chasing women just doesn't work. You try hard yet end up alone. The truth is, showing too much interest too soon can backfire. But some guys get it right, attracting women effortlessly. How do they do it? We're here to crack this code. By the end of this video, you'll know how to make women chase you. Get ready for some easy, effective tips. Let's dive in. Number nine, unleash your beast. Forget playing it safe. It's time to unleash the Titan. This isn't about being a brute. It's about realizing you've got fire inside. You know those guys who walk into a room and own it? They've got something, a mix of strength and control. It's not about being the loudest. It's about that quiet, confident power. Today, everyone's telling you to tone it down, be the nice guy. But here's the thing. Being too nice, too harmless, that's like being a rabbit in a wolf's world. You don't stand out. You don't get noticed. Flip the script. Be the lion instead. Strong, sure, but not out of control. It's not just about muscles or how tough you can look. It's your mindset. Think self-reliant, independent. Walk into a room like you own it, like you don't need anyone's approval. That's what grabs attention. Remember, if you can't show your strength, you're just another face in the crowd. So stand tall, take charge. Unleash that titan within. That's real power, and that's what turns heads. Number eight, stop the chase. Chasing girls? That's a no-go. It's a classic mistake turning strong guys into just another face in the crowd. Here's the deal. When you're always after someone, you're handing over your value, your power. It's like that old saying about wanting what you can't have. Once you've got it, it's not that interesting anymore. This is especially true with women. If you're always there, always available, it's like you're saying your time, your attention, isn't worth much. And guess what? That's exactly how you'll be treated. You're making yourself too easy, too predictable. Where's the challenge in that? Where's the excitement? But here's the kicker. When you step back, when you stop chasing and start focusing on your own thing, that's when the magic happens. Suddenly, you're not just another guy chasing after her. You're the one she starts thinking about, wondering about. You become the challenge, and that's irresistible. So cut the chase, focus on you, do your own thing. It's not about playing games, it's about respecting yourself. And when you do that, you'll see how quickly things change. The moment you stop chasing is the moment you start attracting. Number seven, find your own joy. Alpha guys don't rely on others for happiness. They create it themselves. Too many guys fall into the trap of making a girl their entire world. They let her control their emotions, thinking she's the key to their happiness. But that's a one-way ticket to disappointment. Happiness shouldn't be tied to someone else. It's not about her making you happy. It's about being happy on your own. This mindset is what makes you stand out. Women are drawn to men who find joy in life independently, who don't wait for someone else to light up their world. Imagine the choice from her perspective. A guy who's lost without her, or a guy who's out there enjoying life, with or without her. The answer is clear. Be the man who creates his own happiness. It makes you more attractive and frankly, it's a more fulfilling way to live. Number six, give smart compliments. Compliments are powerful, but it's all about how you use them. Women appreciate compliments, sure, but it's the quality, not the quantity that counts. Showering her with endless praise, that just screams desperation. You're trying too hard. Here's the key, go beyond the surface. While most guys stick to the standard comments about her looks, you need to be different. Women are used to hearing about their hair or eyes. Stand out by noticing the things that really matter. Her sense of humor, her determination, the unique vibe she brings. Drop these compliments casually in conversation, not in private, heartfelt declarations. It's subtler and more effective. You're not just another guy commenting on her appearance. You're someone who sees her for who she truly is. This approach does more than just flatter her. It makes her think about you, creates a deeper connection, it's about making her feel seen and understood, not just admired. That's how you build genuine affection, not just surface level attraction. Number five, stand by your values. We're facing a crisis of character. Too many men lack self-respect and purpose. It's one thing to know how to be better. It's another to act on it. Most choose the easy path, the pain of regret over the pain of discipline. But you need to flip that script. It's you against the world. You've got to be disciplined ready to face anything, even on your worst days. When guys act out of desperation, they're just lowering their own value. If you don't see your worth, why should anyone else? Why would a woman want a guy who's insecure, 
When you focus on yourself, on reaching your goals, everything else falls into place, including women. They become a natural addition to your life, not the sole focus. So be a man of value. Chase your dreams, not women. Find what you excel at and do it relentlessly. Greatness is waiting, but it demands the right mindset. Embrace the challenge. That's where your true potential lies. Number four, harness psychology wisely. Ignoring women like you're some cold-hearted enigma won't make them flock to you. If that were true, every introvert would be a ladies' man, but we know that's not how it works. Throughout history, guys have used all sorts of tactics to catch a woman's interest. Some show off their strength, others use their brains. You want to stand out? Use psychology, but do it smartly. This isn't about mind games or manipulation. It's about engaging in a way that piques her interest. Here's how. Be honest. Sounds simple, right? But in a world where everyone's playing a part, honesty is rare. When you're straightforward and genuine, it builds trust. She starts seeing you as someone reliable, someone real. This approach subtly lowers her defenses. She doesn't even realize it, but she's starting to let you in. And that's because you're not just another guy trying too hard. You're the guy who's confidently himself, who values truth. Number three, stay balanced. When you're into someone, it's easy to see only the good stuff. That's infatuation. It blinds you to the flaws, painting a picture that's all roses and no thorns. But here's the thing. This kind of rose-tinted view can hurt you down the line. Your goal isn't just to win her over, it's to build something that lasts. And that's only possible if you're genuinely compatible. If you're all heart and no logic, you're walking a risky path. You might find yourself trapped in a situation with no easy way out. So what's the strategy? Balance. Don't get lost in a fantasy. Be realistic. Use your head to weigh the pros and cons to see if there's a real connection beyond just attraction. It might be tough to acknowledge the negatives, but it's essential for a healthy, lasting relationship. In short, don't let your heart do all the talking. Listen to your head too. It's about finding a real meaningful connection, not just chasing a dream. Number two, stay wary of generic advice. In today's world, there's no shortage of so-called experts selling one-size-fits-all advice to guys looking for quick fixes. These generic tips, marketed as life-changing secrets, often do more harm than good. When men apply these blanket strategies, they frequently lose control, spiraling into negativity and disillusionment. The key here is to be discerning. Improving yourself, making women take interest, it's a personal journey. No outsider, no matter how confident or convincing, can dictate a foolproof method for you. Even if you follow their advice to the letter, it might not work. Why? Because we're all unique. We might share common features, but our thoughts, experiences, and strengths vary greatly. So be cautious of anyone who claims to have a simple solution for a complex situation. Instead, trust your instincts and apply logic. Your path to improvement and attraction should be tailored to who you are, not a generic formula. Remember, in matters of self-growth and relationships, one size does not fit all. Number one, plenty of fish in the sea. This might sound harsh, but it's a truth every man needs to grasp. There are plenty of women out there. The one you think is the one, she's not as unique as you believe. It's all about perspective. When you fixate on a single woman, you hand over your emotions, your power, and that's a problem. Many guys fall into the trap of believing she's the only one for them, living in a delusion. This mindset can lead to a pit of negativity, stunting personal growth and normal social functioning. Remember, intimacy is a human need, but obsessing over one woman skews your view of the world. Consider this, women make up half of the global population. Is this one woman truly exceptional among billions? If you're losing your self-worth over her, the answer is no. No one is worth that cost. Your focus should be on self-improvement, on being better than you were yesterday. Strive for excellence, understand the human mind, and pick up some smart social skills. These will help you see beyond the facades people create. Always use your head over your heart. Emotions can mislead you, creating more confusion. Ignore the superficial advice that preys on desperation. Understand the difference between being harmless and truly virtuous. Having depth in your personality sets you apart from the crowd. If you've absorbed this, comment 100 inches below. Keep learning, keep growing. Check out the recommended video on the screen for more insights. Thanks for watching.